Hey guys, this is Comic Uno. Today I'm doing a review for Batman Incorporated issue 8. And before I start this review, which I'm sure you guys have all been waiting for, I um, just want to give you guys a little update. I have two reviews that I usually do on Comic Uno that I did on Dark Vendor Rank this week, which were FF issue 4 and Hawkeye issue 8. So if you want to go check out those reviews, just go in the description below and there'll be a link for Dark Vendor Rank so you go check out those reviews. Um, let's talk about the big issue of the week. Um, probably, you know, for a while this is going to be the big issue. Um, issue 8 of uh, Batman Incorporated. You guys know I usually don't pick up this, uh, series. And a lot of people usually don't pick up this series. But once everyone heard that uh, Robin was dying in this issue. And that's not really a spoiler because everyone's heard it already. Um, it's been spoiled. I think it's been spoiled even worse than the Spider-Man when he died. This has been spoiled for a while now. But um, a lot of people don't pick up this series, and now people are going to pick up this series. And this is um, Grant Morrison's Goodbye also. Um, I think it's either a couple issues from now, um, or I don't think it's this issue. I think it's a couple issues from now where, where he's leaving um, the series. But um, this is a big issue, and a lot of people actually missed this from the comic book store because they didn't buy a lot of them. Um, the comic book store is like, oh, they, they said, I think DC probably told them a little bit after that this is going to be a big issue. Or in there, they didn't buy as many copies as they should have. But um, a lot of people weren't able to get this issue, actually. I've heard um, that it's been sold out and there's not even on eBay. And if it's on eBay, it's been selling for, I think, like 30 bucks or something for uh, a $30 comic book. And probably even more by now because it's very rare to get this now. Um, all the comic book stores are sold out. Um, actually, God, this is my last, uh, the last copy at my comic book store, and, um, it's a variant cover, because I wasn't able to get the regular cover, because this is the last copy, um, that's why I was in the back of Ward also, because it was the last copy they had. Um, so, let's talk about this issue. Was this worth it? Um, so in this issue, we get to see... Robin, he's saving the day with, um, because honestly, again, I haven't read Batman Incorporated, but I know somewhat what's going on. He's saving the day. Batman's trapped by Talia. Um, Tim has a little fighting with, um, the bad guys here. So we get to see a little bit of Tim. We don't get to see Batgirl, though. We get to see everybody except Batgirl and, um, Jason. Um, so we get to see Dick and, uh, uh, Robin team up a little for, um, these bad guys. They team up like they used to before... New 52, and now this guy um, comes in, and Robin's like, you know what, I'm not supposed to kill people, but I'm going to kill you, because you're a bad guy. And um, so Robin has this big fight, and he gets beat to death by this guy. Um, honestly, don't know his name, but I'm thinking he's pretty big for the Batman Incorporated story. But it's sad that you know, most people that read other Batman titles don't know his name. I wish it was someone more popular to... Um, kill Damien if he has to die, you know, which was someone else, but we get to see that, uh, he dies, and, um, Talia doesn't know what to really say, everyone really sees it, Batman, like Jason Todd, holds him in his arms, and this girl who gets saved by Robin, will that be important, maybe, well, maybe she'll be the new Batgirl, uh, Batman, uh, new, uh, Robin, sorry, uh, who knows, because I think she could be important, because she was the last person to be saved, and that's why Damien died, is because this guy was trying to kill her, and tried to kill everybody, really, and Damien's like, no, I'll kill you, and he's like, I don't, I don't like killing people, but I'm gonna kill you, um, and he dies himself, um, honestly, I haven't read Batman Incorporated, yeah, I know that, just said, I just said that, <laughs> but, um, I don't know, I didn't love it, um, and that's kind of sad. Uh, I thought it was an okay story, um, he gets beat to death and um, by a random villain. And I guess for Batman Incorporated, he could be a big villain, but for Batman Universe, he really isn't a big villain. I think it should have been someone else who killed him. Um, but there are moments in this that um, make it worth it also, um, little moments, like Dick and Damien teaming up. and. What Damien says, like, we all, we've all we always been a good team. And that shows how Damien has grown over the years. He would never say that before. Um, and honestly, I, I, in the beginning, um, when Damien was first introduced, I did not like his character. Um, I always thought he was just really cocky and really stuck up, and he thought he was all that. He, You know, his father was Batman, and um, he was part of the League of Assassins, and he thought he was all that. He wasn't a kid. But there are issues... Um, along the way where I read him, read of him, and you get to like his character, you understand where he comes from, and uh, I think they had that a little bit in this issue, it's like, you understand where Damien comes from, you get to see how he grew in this issue. Um, again, with Dick, um, he wasn't 
best friends with Dick, and he didn't love teaming up with him, but they grew as a team, and I, I really like that they um, explained that in this issue, and I like that. Um, I also liked Talia kind of ignoring um, the fight with Damien, and uh, Damien keeps saying, Mom, Mom, like, you're looking at this, right? You're looking at this. Um, so you can see how Talia is a horrible mother, and Damien really wanting his mother to care. Um, I think that's a little point. Um, I think you might have to read a second time to really notice, but when he's fighting, he's like, Mom, Mom, like, they call him off at once, Mother, because this is his mother is the one who called for this guy. His mother is the one who's ahead of all this, and he his last words really are, call him off, Mother, and his mother doesn't, and then she's mourning and everything, but really, it's the mother's fault that he's dead. Um, I think that might be the biggest story also. Maybe it's not this villain who killed him off, but it's really that the mother killed him, honestly. Um, so, I like, again, there's moments in this like that, you know, if you really look into it. Um, there's moments in the, in this issue that I really liked with that. Um, but also felt really short. Um, I read it and I'm like, what, that's it? You know, and I think, I think it would have been better if I knew he wasn't going to die. And, but it was all over the place, like you couldn't ignore it. But I think it would have been better if, um, we found out that if it wasn't spoiled, honestly, uh, because I think it'd be like that abrupt, you know, it would be like story, story, it's like, oh, regular issue, then he dies, and you're like, what? He's dead? You know, I think it would have been a little bit more of a shock, but now we know he's like officially dead. Um, honestly, I think the aftermath stories in Batman and Batgirl and Nightwing and all those stories, I think, will be better, um, which is, it's upsetting that we want to see Stephanie Brown's reaction, because I gotta say, the time I really enjoyed Damien the most, and that's when I said, this character is interesting, I want to see more of him, was when he was in that Batgirl, Stephanie Brown issue, where they have fun. They Stephanie Brown teaches Damien how to have fun, and how to be a kid, and that's when um, I recognized Damien was a cool character. So, I wish Stephanie Brown could have a reaction if she exists in the New 52, but I'm excited to see everyone else's reaction, Batman's reaction. And I think that will be the best part of this, is not just, you know, the death of Damien, but to see how people react, and not to, not to his death, but just to Damien. Um, because he's one of those characters that were so unique, and um, I think that's why I appreciate his character, and that's why I'm sad to say that he did die. He's not one of my favorite characters, he's not my favorite character, but he's a character I always liked seeing, and really had appreciation for. A character I really hated in the beginning. Um, I said, I hate Damien, I hate reading him. But you get to understand him, and um, you get to see points in here where you really feel bad for him. Um, again, I, I thought the death was just okay, um, the story was just okay, but I think the aftermath is going to be better for this. And, I mean, if you know Damien died, I don't really have to pick up this issue, but again, those little points in here um, will want you to pick, uh, I think will make you want to pick up this issue. Um, I'm going to get a three and a half. Again, it's not the best issue. It really isn't. The way he died, I think Grant Morrison, he's the one who created the character. I think he could have done a little bit better to make him die. Maybe a bigger person. But I think if they describe in issues to come that it was Talia who really killed him, um, then it'll be better if they describe it in that way. Um, and it's actually weird to see Grant Morrison kill off the character, I was going to say. Um, because he created the character. I mean, I understand maybe he's like, alright, if I have to go from the cape to books, I want to kill off the character I created. And make him have a good farewell, which he did an okay job. I really don't think he did a brilliant job with it. But, um, also, I thought he would want to have his royalties. I thought, because Damien, if he's, he is created by Grant Morrison, so you would think that, um, because if they use Damien in other stories, he would get money for it. So, um, that also shows, I think he, for creativity reasons, I think he wanted to do it, and not just for money reasons. Um, so yeah, again, good points in this issue, um, but a lot of the bad points, it is a little slow. It's short, honestly, it's short. Um, not a lot happens until, like, the last three issues, on, or the last three pages, honestly, or the last four pages. A lot of it's, like, it doesn't build up, though. It's just, like, random fighting, and then you're like, oh, Damien's dead, what? So it kind of comes out of nowhere. Um, so I'm going to give this three and a half stars. I say pick it up. There's some good moments, and I'm excited to see where everyone reacts to this. I think that'll be the better part of Damien's death. And will he return? Um, I think that's a question also. Will Damien return? I think, not now, but I think he will return one day. Because um, a lot of people are like, oh, he's going to be Batman one day. And who's going to take the mantle? Will it be that girl, maybe? I think that would be kind of random. Will it be Stephanie Brown? That would be amazing if that happens. Uh, a lot of people are saying from, because I didn't read the beginning of Batman. I read it till Death of the Family. A lot of people are saying this girl that was in Batman in the first couple issues might um, do it. Um, it could be interesting if they actually pick a girl, I think, um, because they had Stephanie Brown, but really we haven't had a long-term 
a female Robin, so that could be interesting. Um, or I just I want an interesting Robin. There's gonna be a Robin. I I know that. Um, but it should be interesting where we get to see this new Robin. How long this new Robin will last. Um, so tell me in comments below, who do you think the new Robin will be, and do you think Damien's death is going to stick for a while? I think it'll stick for a while, but I don't think it's going to stick forever. I think he will come back. A lot of people are saying that there's clones in this, they might bring him back with clones, but do you really want that? Um, I think I'll have to follow Batman Incorporated for a little while, see what's going to happen with Damien. I hope we have an aftermath for Batman Incorporated also. Um, I'm sure we will. Let me see if we have a cover. I don't even think we have a cover here, but um, I'm hoping. I'll pick up the next issue, I think, see uh, what people think, but I think I will pick up the next issue. Again, tell me your thoughts in the comments below. This is the big issue from this week. Hope you guys enjoyed, and guys, don't forget to follow me on Comic Uno and the right situation, and I said pick this up and give it a three and a half. It's not the best death uh, issue, but I think the aftermath of this is going to be interesting. So I'll see you guys later. This is Comic Uno. Bye.